everyone. I wanted to share some things that I got today for my vintage Yellowstone trailer. Um, I went to Walmart today. I was trying to find nesting bowls and mixing bowls. As you know, living in RVs, campers, or trailers, there's there's not much room. You know, like there's not a lot of storage, um, especially in my model. That this isn't very much storage. In fact, that's all taken up. There's there's no room. Okay, so I literally only have these two drawers down here and then the overhead storage. That's all I have. So I have to choose wisely and make sure, you know, I find things that can nest inside of each other or collapse. And so, you know, I, I went to the store today and I came across this set. It's got three mixing bowls. It's got measuring cups and measuring spoons and this is by Farberware. I think this was like 20 something um, which I, I thought wasn't bad um, and you'll see why. Comes with three storage containers with lids which is awesome because I don't always finish my food or I always make too much food so it's nice to be able to um, store it and have it all contained. And then the mixing bowls I really like these mixing bowls because each and every one of them has a pour lip, pour spout, a um, little handle, and they all have thick rubber feet, and they all have the unit of volume on the bottom, printed on the bottom. I think that's great. Again, it's the rubber feet. I love that I really like and even the little containers have volume so if you're like me I kind of want to know how much of something I'm eating or creating and so the vol, you know the, the measurements really help and these are a sturdy plastic it's I almost want to say they're melamine like I'm not sure if they're melamine though uh, but they're melamine like and they match my magic chef perfectly I didn't mean I, I didn't think they would match so perfectly but it's ridiculous how perfect a match it, it it is I then came across this cute little picnic set um, this was only two dollars I needed a napkin holder I needed a napkin holder because I was using napkins out of the bag and they were starting to fall out and uh, come out of the cabinet all crazy so this is perfect these are really cute, but they're huge. I could never use all that salt and pepper. I, I don't know. That's like a lifetime of salt and pepper for me. Maybe salt, not. I'll use the pepper more often than not, but I'm thinking of filling up half the space with something and, and um, maybe attaching it with like some food safe adhesive. I'm not sure if there's I'm not sure if glue sticks are non-toxic or I'm not sure I have to look into that but if you have some ideas let me know drop it in my comments below um but I I want to fill up half the volume of this shaker with nothing um just something to take up space and then put the rest it fill the rest with salt and or pepper um but just like halfway and these are only two bucks. Um, again, I got these at Walmart. Super cute. It did come in this pretty green, um, which I, I actually like, but green doesn't go with my space. So I just went with aqua and it actually looks to be a good match and it's aesthetically pleasing. It also came in a red, but I didn't like the red. It felt more burgundy in the store for some reason so I just went with these um also kind of reminds me of like it has like that depression glass kind of feel anyways I hope you enjoyed this um and again if you have any ideas on how I can reduce the space of these shakers by half at least please let me know I'd appreciate it thanks